wheezing to win the day. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to Gen 7 Random Pokemon Battles. Oh yes, you wouldn't know it's Gen 7 at the moment because there's a Skarmory on a Gliscor out here, so it could be like Gen 2 or 3. <laughs> But he knocks off the uh, leftovers for my Skarmory, and that's fine because this Skarmory has Roost. I'm gonna go ahead and set up some spikes. He goes for the Protect, which isn't gonna matter at all. Just gives me more time to set up another layer. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get three layers of spikes up here. Unless he has a Rapid Spinner, they will stay up for the duration of the match, and that is really, really gonna help me out, as it generally does. Um, so he keeps going for the knockoff. It's doing basically nothing because my item is already gone. So I'm going to go ahead and heal back up with Roost, and now my Skarmory is almost at full HP again. We're basically at a standstill. Um, he goes for the Armaldo here, which does have Rapid Spin in its moveset. I don't know if he has it um, on this Armaldo specifically, and uh, I was just whirlwinding to get the Glissor out of there, but it worked out relatively well because I got 25% damage on the Armaldo, and now 25% damage on this new Pokemon, Doxapex. Toxapex which has a uh, poison and water typing, which I think is really, really cool. It's going to go ahead and try and set up some entry hazards of its own as I go for the Brave Bird, but that's relatively fine because, shh, I've got a Gengar, and I can remove the Toxic Spikes at any time, so if he wants to waste some turns, that's okay. He goes for the Haze now, which uh, is not Defog. <laughs> haze will get rid of Light Screen and Reflect, but not entry hazards. So that was uh, not a great move on his part. And I'm able to take it down with the Brave Bird, Brave Bird. Now the Armaldo comes back in. I'm relatively sure he's going to Rapid Spin, so uh, I bring in my Rotom to go ahead and block that Rapid Spin, if he does decide to go for it. Uh, but he goes for Stone Edge instead, which is a relatively good move. I think Skarmory would have weathered that a bit better than Rotom. But we're already in here, so fuck it. We're gonna do the thing, try and burn him with Will-O-Wisp. It does not work at all. I, I of course, Will-O-Miss. And he goes for the Stone Edge, which takes out my Rotom. My Rotom did nothing, which is fucking fantastic. He still hasn't gone for the Rapid Spin. I'm thinking maybe he doesn't have it. Um, that's possible. Oh, I don't have a Gengar in this round. So I go for Defog with Luminion to get rid of those Toxic Spikes. Um, I do have my Skarmory still up, he does not have his Toxapex, so I can set up my spikes again, although it will take a few turns to do so. Kinda take the momentum away, but uh, Skarmory is just a fucking massive wall, so I don't think it's going to affect the things that much. He goes for the Toxic now, which is not gonna work because I'm already poisoned with the basic ass poison, and um, I'm not sure why he's doing that. I guess he was expecting a switch or something, but the only other Pokemon I've revealed is Skarmory, which is immune to Toxic, so, um, bit of a mystery there. I guess we'll never figure it out, because now he's dead. He's dead. He's fucking dead and gone forever. Now he sends in a Cacturn. Um, I was hoping he'd send in the Gliscor so I could take care of that thing, but he does not, so I go ahead and Toxic the Cacturn, since I don't really have much else to hit it with. And that thing does have water absorbed, so, um, yeah, that wouldn't be helpful at all. He goes for the Seed Bomb, knocks my Luminion out, but luckily, uh, Skarmory is gonna be able to take this thing down. And also, if I get the chance, I will set up some spikes and things like that. So, I know Cacturn can't really hit me with anything, he's got Dark and Grass-type moves, mostly in his moveset, um, from what I've seen. So, neither of those are gonna do Skarmory too bad, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to set up my spikes as he withers away from Toxic. Drain Punch. Drain Punch is actually a pretty good move. It does some decent damage, but uh, it's nowhere near enough to take down this Skarmory. Skarmory does have massive physical defense. If you want to take it down, the way to go is special. Special electric type attacks will fuck its day, but um, yeah, this Cacturn doesn't have any of that. He's, he's hanging in there. <laughs> I give him points for, uh, for sticking with it, but yeah, it's not gonna work. I thought this Brave Bird would knock me out just then, but it does not. I just barely, barely live it, which I thought was super awesome. And uh, I do have all my spikes back up. So, Gliscor's back in here. I know he's faster, so I kind of just sacrificed my Skarmory in order to get the free switch, since he's put the spikes up, and um, that was basically his whole job. <laughs> So now I've got the Drift Blim. I don't know if Umburden will activate from knockoff. 
Um, but yeah, he does knock off my citrus berry. I think it does activate uh, in that way, but don't quote me. We'll see on the next turn if Drift Blim is faster, which I think he will be. So I go for Shadow Ball. I'm going to go for it again because I did get the uh, special defense drop. Oh, I go for Destiny Bond. He knocks it off, but I <laughs> just, just barely do I live, which is really not a good thing because uh, I am going to be faster on the next turn. If I use Destiny Bond, it's going to fail just like that. Big misplay on my part, and he's able to knock off my Drift Blim. So this match is uh, all of a sudden taken, taken quite a swing, and now he's got three Pokemon. That fucking Gliscor, such a pain in the ass, and uh, I've only got two pokes left. So we'll send out the Weezing, who has Fire Blast, uh, Pain Split, a couple of cool moves. Sludge Bomb's not going to be able to hit this Gliscor, and neither is Fire Blast because I missed completely. <laughs> Oh god, we're so fucked. So he knocks off Weezing's Black Sludge, uses Knock Off again, which is not doing much damage at all now, thankfully. And uh, with that special defense drop on the Gliscor, Fire Blast is actually able to do some decent damage, but uh, he is poison healing right back up. So I am scared of that Gliscor, as anyone should be. Oh, you Pokemon? Oh my god. He sends in the Seismitoad to eat up the Fire Blast, and luckily I do get the Burn. Burn has had a damage drop in Generation 7. It used to do 12%, just like Poison, and now it does 6% per turn, so you can uh, heal it off with Leftovers, which is no fun at all. I protect here to see what he's gonna go for, and he decides to go for the Hydro Pump. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little scared. I don't have too much to switch into, but luckily, my last Pokémon Tapu Bulu, which is a Pokemon with like four different forms, and this is luckily the uh, the Grass and Fairy form. There's Grass and Fairy, Electric and Fairy, Psychic and Fairy. Maybe it's three forms. I think it's four. <laughs> Don't quote me. I'm still a noob here. Um, so he goes for the knockoff there. It's not going to matter because of my Fairy typing. And uh, I see that he has a Life Orb, so with the burn and all that, that is going to do some massive, massive damage over time to him. So I'm going to go ahead and take the opportunity to just bulk up in his face. Um, luckily I have the Grassy Terrain, which is another new thing in Generation 7. Really, really confusing for me the first time I saw it. And uh, basically it gives me Leftovers healing per turn. I'm not sure if it stacks with Leftovers. I assume that it would. But uh, this Tapu Bulu does not have Leftovers. So that's just fine. He goes for Earthquake, which is <laughs> does some sad, sad damage. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it out of its misery with Megahorn, and hopefully he'll show me what his last Pokemon is. I don't really want to face off against the Gliscor, but, um, yeah, if I go for a Grass move, then I should be able to take it relatively well. He's got a Mawile, which is scary, scary stuff for my, uh, my fairy Pokemon here, because I know Mawile has Iron and Steel typing. Or, no, it's Steel and Iron and Steel. Steel and Fairy is what I mean to say. He does the Iron Head. I thought I might live with the uh, special defense boost, or the defense boost, but he goes for the Iron Head and knocks me right out because I went for superpower beforehand. So now all I've got left is Weezing. Weezing to win the day. Fuck. <laughs> Luckily, Fire Blast is able to take down that Mawile, and uh, now it's just uh, a fight to see if I can hit enough Fire Blasts to take this Gliscor down, which Fire Blast doesn't have that much PP, he goes for Earthquake now, which is interesting. Maybe he's a new a new battler too, I'm not sure. <laughs> because uh, Weezing has the Levitate ability, which is really, really a fucking awesome thing. It negates the ground weakness for his poison typing. And uh, yeah, I think the only other move he has besides Earthquake, I think he has Toxic Protect, Earthquake, and Knock Off. So yeah, all he's going to be able to do is Knock Off to my Weezing, which is really, really good news for me because I'm going to be able to just fire blast that thing into the ground. Oh, thank God. Oh, happy day. <sighs> Another squeak by victory, but I'll take it. Anyways, we'll see how we do in the next one. I'll see you there. Welcome back to another Gen 7 battle. We've got Unpheasant here against Nihilego, which is a rock and poison type, I do believe. So I go ahead and go for the Hypnosis with my Unpheasant, which misses. That's quite unpheasant. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> he gets up his Stealth Rocks and a layer of Toxic Spikes before I'm able to hit the Hypnosis. This uh, Nihilego 
definitely shot up into the OU tier. Uh, I'm able to pop his balloon with the U-turn. Here's the Gengar, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and suck up those toxic spikes. Don't know how much damage I'm gonna be able to do against this thing. Um, I think special defense is one of its strongest stats. But we're gonna go ahead and try. Smack that thing with the Shadow Ball. Yeah, only 32%. I'm probably not going to be able to knock it out before it wakes up, but it's worth a try, I'll say that much. Gengar's already out here, I'm not going to waste another turn switching. And he wakes up on the second Shadow Ball, is able to go for the Power Gem, which uh, does half of my health. Really, really fucking scary Pokemon, but luckily I'm faster and able to take it down with my Mega, Evo Mega Evolved Gengar. Really, really awesome. And now he sends out the Togetic, which is awesome because I also have the Sludge Wave, which is uh, super effective against the Fairy types. I don't know all of what is effective against Fairy types, but I know Poison works, so uh, that's able to take him down relatively well. But Gengar's taken down with a Fire Blast, unfortunately. Electrovire's out here now, which is going to knock out Togetic with a Wild Charge. Ba-boom! And uh, that Pokemon is pretty freaking tough, especially with an EVO light attached. It used to be a fully evolved Pokemon, uh, much like Sneasel, actually. So uh, yeah, definitely something to be scared of and watch out for. In comes the Unpheasant against the Chestnut. Uh, my Pluck, which is the flying type move, is going to do four times damage, which I think will knock it out. Um, but maybe not, because it's relatively low power. Unfortunately, Unpheasant doesn't get the Brave Bird, which I think is a damn pity, uh, but he switches out predicting what I'm gonna do, I guess, and brings in the Wormadam Steel. Still able to hit that thing neutrally, which is okay, and uh, I'm able to put it to sleep with Hypnosis. That is one really, really nice thing about Unpheasant, is just, uh, yeah. He can inflict a variety of status moves, his uh, defense is relatively strong. I'm predicting when he wakes up that I'm going to get a power gem to the face, so I'll go ahead and take my Unpheasant out of here, even though he's going to take 25% damage from the Stealth Rocks when he comes back in. And that's a pain, but um, yeah, not so much of a problem. He goes for the Toxic, actually, not the power gem, but it's too late. I've already U-turned into my Durant, which is uh, fucking fast. Fast and strong, he goes for Protect as I go for Hone Claws, which is uh, going to get rid of my Hustle. Hustle increases increases damage of moves, but decreases accuracy, so one Hone Claws will get rid of the uh, accuracy drop from that ability, and uh, also boost my attack a little further. I'll go for it one more time, just so I can not worry about missing stone edges. I think this brings it up to like 90 95% chance to hit, which is really fucking good. He brings in the Chestnut now. X Scissor is going to do some massive, massive damage, even as a neutral hit. But Chestnut's uh, defense is off the charts, if you want me to be honest. So uh, he hits me with a Drain Punch and is able to heal back up, but he is not going to be able to take another one of those, I'll tell you right now. But boom Goodbye, sir. If he had a Rocky Helmet or something, it would be doing some... Uh, Pretty nice residual damage, but as it stands, my Durant is slowly healing back up with leftovers. Now he brings in a Mothim, I'm gonna smash that thing with Stone Edge, and get another free round of leftovers healing. Oh, it's so delicious! <laughs> I love it so much! Durant's just an awesome Pokemon. I mean, yeah. Not one of my favorites, but um, he's up there, for sure. He brings in a Sharpedo now, which I know has rough skin, kind of acts like Rocky Helmet, but it doesn't matter because he's part Dark type, so an X Scissor is going to be able to take that thing down. He protects, which is fine, because I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, another round of Leftovers healing, and I'm creeping back up almost to 90% uh, health now. He Mega Evolves and goes for the Waterfall, and uh, I think my Durant flinches, yeah. Not good. Not good at all. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to live another one of those, but I'm going to go ahead and try anyways. I am able to live it, which is super fortunate. Unfortunately, I fucking get flinched again. So Durant's going to go down to the Sharpedo, even though he should have fucking finished sweeping this team up. But uh, that's okay. He did his best, and that's really all we can ask for. So, what am I going to bring in for this Sharpedo? I do have Electivire, but I also have an Executor. So, this is going to do some nice things, unless, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, unless he has the Dark type attack, which he does. Crunch, same type attack, go goes and fucks my day up. 
Well, here's a Crawdaunt, which should be able to resist all his uh, same type attacks because he's dark and water and I'm dark and water. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for superpower, baboosh, and we're able to take that thing down. <laughs> really, kind of a close call with that Sharpedo. It is a, a terrifying Pokemon, especially with, uh, I think, Tough Jaws is his ability, which increases all the bite attacks. And uh, he brings in Wormadam Steel, the only Pokemon he has left. But that thing is not gonna last forever. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep superpowering it until Crawdonk goes down, and then I'll finish it with either Electrovire or Unpleasant. I think Electrovire has the fire attack, so probably gonna go with him. Anyways, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for joining us for our Gen 7 Pokemon Battles. I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a 6-inch Mario. Is that 6 inches? I don't know. I'm not very good at measuring. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I appreciate you watching. I hope that you'll, you'll stick around, see what comes next week. We're going to have a couple more exciting battles. I'll maybe even mix in some monotypes and stuff like that and uh, see if we can get back into that because although it doesn't perform extremely well on my channel, it is uh, something that I really enjoy doing. And uh, I'm not too bad at it either, most of the time. Anyways, if you want to battle, uh, leave a comment and we'll hook that up. And until the next time, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.